Hello, everyone. Lawrence Fleming here with another video. I think we're getting close to what's coming up, the next phase. The next phase is going to not include the church, which means it has to include the rapture. Now, we've got a couple of things that are in the line before the Antichrist can really take over and do things. And I don't know what the order is. Uh, I don't know how soon they are. Uh, you're not going to find me predicting a date. Uh, that's not going to happen here. But I think that what the world is in for is not going to be pleasant. You want to be able to take the express bus out of here or the express flight because Jesus is going to pull us up into the clouds with the rapture. And the word rapture is in the Latin Bible, not the English Bible. We are going to be caught up, snatched away because things are going to get bad down here and I know that God has complete timing control over that. We're not being snatched away because as soon as we're in the air, the bombs are going to fall. No, that's not it. But I think Satan would love to stop us, and he's pulling us out of his hands. But what happens after that is going to continue to get worse. Birth pangs, as Jesus called it, they're going to get worse. And you need to be ready. If you miss the rapture, there's still hope. So stay with me, and I'll talk about that. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified when I release another video. Now, this channel has an important message. I'm trying to read from the scriptures as much as I can, so you don't just hear my opinion. I think we're running out of time. Now, granted, that has been a belief for 2,000 years. So if I encourage you to be a Christian, because I think we're running out of time and you become one, and we're not out of time, I think that's still a win-win. But personally, I think we're running out of time. It could be any time. This year, there are people that have been calling out dates. There were some that were la last year. And of course, it could have happened. I got some that are calling out now this year, maybe May, you know, who knows. We are in the season. And because we're in the season, people are able to pick dates. But I'm not going to go that far. Don't miss the bus because you weren't quite ready to make that decision. So let's go ahead and get started. The world right now is slowly being led down a path that Satan is basically orchestrating. All these new norms that are out there. I'm not going to get into politics, but they're involved. Eventually, it's going to get bad enough that they are going to be able to pull the world together. They're going to have to unite in order to survive. So if you're an individual, you're going to have a hard time making it unless you're prepared. It's going to get to the point where you're not going to be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. He's going to set that up. That's a worldwide thing. If it was just happening in one little area, it would never work because you just go outside the area. Areas that had prohibition on alcohol or drugs or whatever it was. They would just go across the border and get it. So it's got to be worldwide. And never before in history have we had the opportunity for it to be worldwide. The banks can unite. Everything can be electronic. Money can become digital. We're in that age right now. They can do it. They're not going to be able to do it until it gets bad enough that they see no other option. And I also think that for this to work, Christians have to be gone. Because if we're gone, we're not going to be able to stop what's happening. We'll see what's happening. The Spirit of, of God in us as Christians will allow us to see what Satan's going to do. So we have to be gone. And, and in fact, it's be the end of the age anyway. The 70th day of Daniel switches to the Jews. God's original 
people that he wanted to uh, to survive this and win this, his people. But when they rejected him, he opened it up to the world. And that's why the rest of the world, you can become a Christian. Even Jews can become a Christian. And we would love as many as we can. And there will be Jews in the tribulation time frame that will become Christians. And that's great. So let's take a look at uh, some scriptures to see what the world is going to look like. Let's look at uh, James 4.4. 4. You adulterous people, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Now, the world means the world system, the world belief without God. We have the old Babylon and we have the new Babylon. And basically, it's a world system that, you know, whatever feels good, do it. And we've had bits and pieces of that throughout our history here in the United States. But I think we're going to be turning this fire up on full. Let's look at Revelation, Revelation 17, verse 5. The name written on her forehead was a mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes, and the abomination of the earth. Now, the original Babylon that's spoken of in Genesis was destroyed by God. Remember, they built a tower, the Tower of Babel, in an attempt to get close to God. And their overall concept of who God was led them on a path of immoral acts and idol worship. Now, the modern-day Babylon is, is really no different. It's got new technology and new toys, but they will also be destroyed by God for the same reason. Revelation 18. After these things, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried out with a mighty voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place of demons and a prison of every unclean spirit and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the passion of her immorality. And the kings of the earth have committed acts of morality with her. And the merchants of the earth have become rich by the wealth of her sensuality. This is the future of the world. We can see it forming now. Now, what will you want to look for to see that the end is near? Once you're into this, it's Luke, Luke 21, 20. But when you see Jerusalem sat surrounded by armies, then you will know its desolation has come near. We all need to put on the armor of God. We need to talk to Jesus about this, since the Spirit of God controls this armor. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, you don't have access to this armor. You will also not escape the wrath that God's going to pour out on the earth. So you need to put your trust in God. Do you not know God or Jesus, his son? You need to invite Jesus into your heart. Speak to Jesus and really mean it. If it's from your heart, he will know it. Because if you just say the words, he will know that too. It's not by your works. It doesn't matter what you've done, who you've helped, how many people you've helped. If you're not doing it for God, you're doing it for yourself, and you've already got your reward. Because salvation is a free gift. And if you've never received Christ, you can right now. Just repeat after me. Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sinful ways and ask you to come into my heart. I accept your free gift of salvation that you paid for with your blood on the cross. I want to be a Christian. I want to be born again. And I want eternal life. Now, if you prayed that, leave me a note down below. I'd love to talk to you and, and to pray with you. The end is coming soon. So until we meet in the skies, God bless.